want to master your industry. People want to work with the best in the marketplace. And if you're not striving to be the best, they're going to find the person that is. People buy from who they know, they like, and they trust. When you love what you do and you're great at it, people are going to like you. They're definitely going to trust you. And if you have a unique perspective in the marketplace, they will get to know you. In order to master what you do, you have to set aside time for it. That means scheduling time daily to learn and then apply the knowledge that you picked up that day. Sometimes we overlearn. And we're very used to going on YouTube and watching 10, 20 videos on, on a particular topic and you got all that knowledge in your head, but what are you doing with it? Now, after you watch this video, you should get your calendar out and schedule one hour, Monday through Saturday, a one hour block. But in that one hour, you do 30 minutes where you're learning something in your industry and then you spend 30 minutes applying it. And if you love what you do or choose to love it, you're gonna find that you're getting skills that you can start talking to your customers and clients about. You're getting skills that you can share with the greater market through social media. Here are some questions you need to think about if you're wondering, well, how do I share that? What is your unique approach to solving a problem in your industry? Don't just tell them, show them through emails, blogs, blogs, and posts. What additional value does your perspective give your clients or customers? People will love to hear about your journey and how your passion for solving their problem caused you to learn all of these new insights that you're now sharing and they can get to experience that themselves. Those are the type of things that will turn casual clients into fans or fanatics. People that will follow you, join your tribe, refer business to you passionately, and that's what you really want. Now they're gonna be looking at your videos. They're gonna be looking at your blog posts, your Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, even Pinterest, depending on your industry, and getting comfortable with your style, liking, your perspective on things. You're no longer in a position where they're thinking whether or not they need to trust you. Now you're in a position where they're thinking, okay, when should I call this guy? So here are a few points. Gather insights about what is important to your customers. Spend your brain power discussing their issues from their perspective. Here's a level up tip. Take yourself out of the equation. Think only about your audience. That's it, nobody else. It's really easy to get narcissistic and think about what's important to you. But the customer or your client doesn't care about that. They're only there to get their problem solved or to learn something new and different. So make sure you're focused on their problem, on their issues, and take yourself out of the equation entirely. Okay, so let's sum things up. Do what you love to do. When you love what you do, you're gonna learn more about it. You're gonna share what you do. You will be successful if you have that passion and perseverance, simply because the majority of other people will not take that risk. If you like these videos, please subscribe. I also wanna know in the comments, if you could do anything as a business, what would it be? And if you've already found something that you love, tell us in the comments, what you found as a business and why you love it. That's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching.